Hello, and welcome to your Channel 72 News YouTube edition. My name is Logan Adolph, and this is our first YouTube-specific broadcast from the Channel 72 studio here at Graham Capalison High School. Here is the news roundup. Remember that the math wassail is coming up on Monday the 12th and Tuesday the 13th, along with the science wassail Monday the 19th and Tuesday the 20th. Testing begins at 7.25 a.m. Regular classes begin at 10 a.m. Please remember to bring your calculators because we do not have enough to hand out to everyone. For students that need extra help with the math and science wassail, North Umbria University in England has done a recent study that shows consumption of chocolate before a test can improve your math calculating ability. You hear that, Jace? Eat chocolate and you'll be good at math. So before the test and during the breaks, munch on some chocolate or drink some chocolate milk. Uh, the National Honor Society will be meeting today directly after school right outside of the counseling center. We are going to discuss an upcoming community service project. Please stop by to get information packet for this project. <laughs> I'm totally messing this up. Attention all juniors, if you are interested in taking a senior trip to Cancun, Mexico next year for graduation, come to the interest meeting on Monday, April 13th at 6 p.m. in the Career Center. Stop laughing at me. Bring your parents so they can get all the information needed. Rockstar Energy Drink is sponsoring this trip, so there will be free rock stars at the meeting for all who come. This is a once-in-a-lifetime op opportunity to go to Mexico at a surprisingly low cost. See Nick Johnson for more details. The Key Club is collecting books to donate to Nelson Elementary. Bring, it, bring in your books and put them in the box near the attendance window by April 17th. Uh, the Spring Formal is coming up on April 18th from 8 to 11 p.m. Tickets are now on sale. The cost is $17 for a single ticket and $30 for couples tickets with ASB or... Uh, I think I should start over because... I totally am messing this up. <laughs> this year's theme for the spring formal is Midnight in Paris and the colors are red, black, and silver. Come and enjoy a night in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> Guest past requests are available in the main office spinner and due by Wednesday, April 5th. <laughs> Wild Waves will be visiting on Monday, April 13th during lunches to hire summer employment. <laughs> Keep going. Juniors and seniors, if you are interested in the military or want to take a great career assessment test, see Ms. Bonhoff to sign up for the ASVAB on April 21st at 7.30 a.m. in the auditorium. Uh, the University of Washington Tacoma campus is offering a career and internship fair on April 22nd from 12.30 to 3.30 p.m. 60 employers will be on hand to answer questions and offer employment. See Ms. Bonhoff for further details. The best dollars for scholars scholarship application is now available on Ms. Sessions Swift page. Only one application is needed for both scholarships and it is due to the Counseling Center by April 15th. If you need, need assistance with the application, see Ms. Bonhoff in the Career Center or Ms. Sessions in the Counseling Center. <coughs> well, <laughs> that is it for this fantastic news roundup. Now, let's switch over to Michael Smith and Kevin Doyle for a story wrapping up the results of the March Madness Tournament. Thank you very much, Logan. This is Kevin Doyle and Michael Smith here today with your GK Broadcasting News team. We're going to be wrapping up the NCAA tournament today. How would you feel about the championship game, Michael? I felt that it was sort of a... Oh, what's that word? I can't even think of it. What's that word when it's up and down? Like, UNC is going to win no matter what. Toss-up. Is that good? Toss-up. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Right. 
Thanks for the big word. I'm not sure if it was really a toss-up, though, because I knew since last year when they got kicked out that uh, UNC was going to win it, and I called it last year. They beat Michigan 89-72 to this year. Uh, Michigan State, are you kidding me? I thought UConn was going to be in here. UConn would have went if they would have played harder and to beat, played a little harder yeah. and led his team. Well, who's your favorite player on UNC, Kevin? You know uh, by far, it'd be Tyler Hans, bro. He's going to be doing really good next year in the NBA, I think. Um, should be going pretty low as a draft pick. Who's your favorite player on Memphis? Because I know that's your team. Uh, I don't know, man. Let's not talk about Memphis right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you have any predictions for next year? Who do you think is going to be doing work next year? I think Gonzaga has a good chance to compete next year if they keep their players and play hard, work hard, play with passion. All right. This has been Kevin Doyle and Michael Smith. Back to you, Logan. Thank you, Kevin and Michael, for that uh, insightful and amazing story. I actually feel smarter after listening to that. Well, that's about that about wraps it up. So I'm Logan Adolf and my idiot friend Ty isn't here again. So uh keep it classy, UK.